what is up guys welcome back to uh, another tutorial in 3ds max and in this tutorial we're going to be going over trajectories and this is actually the 22nd tutorial so in the last tutorial we learned some basic animation learned what uh, frames and keyframes were and if you notice whenever you made a keyframe you saw the different colors on the keyframes and by default they're red green and blue and these colors actually believe it or not they mean something just not random colors the color on the keyframe symbolizes what is being animated. The position keys are red. Anytime you see green, it means rotation is being animated. And anytime you see blue, it means that the scale is being animated or the size of it. And the parameter keys are going to be dark gray. And aside from a solid color, you can also have, like if a color is red and green, that means that it's two different things are animated on the same exact key. So uh, that gives you a little background of what the colors mean in keyframes. So let me go ahead and now that we learn how to do a basic animation, animate something like position alone or size alone, let's go ahead and clear and get a new animation. And I can teach you what the heart of this tutorial is about and that's trajectories. Now uh, before I even go into that, let's go ahead and put new, open up a new one just in case you have anything. Uh, in your thing already and then go ahead and reset your workspace so we're all on the same page here what a trajectory is is it's pretty much a path that an animation can follow so this is most commonly viewed as a spline and that's when I review like um, video game uh, creations you see all those dots around or when people are on a green screen and they have those dots on them for motion path that's what this is and what it is is each node is going to show up as a frame and the keyframes are going to be shown in white squares so it's better actually if I just create one and you see what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and go ahead and create pretty much any object you want it doesn't really matter I'm gonna go ahead and create a teapot real quick because why not and in your front viewport right here just zoom out a little bit and it's probably the best to get the select object tool so just zoom out and put the object towards the bottom right of your screen and then from here what we need to do is again make sure you're in your front view um, create a line spline and this spline is going to be the path that this object is going to follow so let's go ahead and in our create create shapes splines make sure you drop down and click spot splines excuse me and then go ahead and click a line and you can pretty much make any path that you want I'm gonna make a loop because it's really easy when I demonstrate rotation just to see a loop so pretty much click something that looks like that it doesn't have to be exact but anytime you wanna deselect your spline just go ahead and right click it like that now what you wanna do is select your teapot because what we're gonna be telling 3ds max is our say alright take this teapot and put it on this path and that's the path that needs to be followed so go ahead and select your teapot and you'll know it's selected because it will turn white and then go ahead and in your motion path right here click trajectory and again like I said a tra trajectory is the path that it's going to follow so what you want to do with your teapot selected or whatever shape you created go ahead and press convert from and what this means is alright I'm about to give you a path to follow so now hover over your spline which mine's name line one and click that now as you see the teapot automatically snaps to beginning of the spline and if you scroll along your um, time bar at the bottom you see that it begins animating and by default it starts at the beginning of the spline and by default it ends at the end so now if you scroll you can watch it play just like that so go ahead and what we want to do is we want this to actually rotate along with the spline so when you scroll like this you see it's staying the same thing the whole time and so go ahead and press key filters and we only want to select rotation and this is gonna say alright we can only edit rotation so go ahead to somewhere like right here and go ahead and click your select and rotate and you can just go ahead and rotate it like that and press set key and scroll ahead a little further to the top of the loop and go ahead and rotate this even more click on on yellow set key set key now go ahead to about uh, three-fourths away and go ahead and rotate this even more 
right about there and go ahead and set another key so now you see whenever we look at it it actually scrolls along with the path so that's how you can animate two different types of animation at once so that's all the time I have for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe